All right, Matt, where are we at? We're in Cade's Cove. Cade's Cove. Do not feed the bear. Feed this the... area is full of bear, deer, turkeys, all kinds of wildlife. And plant geeks. And, and tomorrow, geeks. this is where our hike will begin. Up Gregory Ball to see all the amazing azaleas that are up there. They've got a crazy hybrid swarm happening up there. Of a rhododendron viscosum, arborescence, and Cumberland dense. Uh, on top of that, there's some uh, uh, Calandalacium in there, and uh, really excited about what we got going in tomorrow. I'm about to commandeer one of these horses over here. Might be able to rent one. Tim's got us going up a 500 foot elevation per hour tomorrow on this hike. We're all hoping we can make it there and back. That is listed as very strenuous. Very strenuous. <laughs> 4 .4 Extremely miles strenuous. 4.4 .4 miles down. <laughs> What's the overall elevation change? The Gregory Bald Hike has, <laughs> I want to say, 24 or 26 uh, 100 feet uh, in elevation. <laughs> uh, it's a good thing we're all in really, really good hiking shape. <laughs> right. <laughs> I've been preparing for this. <laughs> I've been not preparing for this hike for almost 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's going to be an interesting hike, but when we get to the top, it'll all be worth it. So from what I understand too, we're going to be hiking with a, an Azalea group, correct? Is that? Yeah, we hope to be meeting up with the Azalea Society who's hiking the Gregory Bald hike. Uh, they're some of the top experts on what we're going to be seeing this hybrid swarm that's happening up here at Gregory Bald it's said to be one of the few places in the world where this rare uh, amount of hybrids are actually happening and we're a little more concerned than normal we've been hiking in woods our entire lives and never dealt with much with black bears but Cades Cove recently had somebody attacked by a black bear uh, Sevierville recently had someone attacked by a black bear so the there's been a lot of black bear attacks least recently, so we had to stock up on some bear mace. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping we don't get in any kind of dangerous encounter. I know we'll see some, but hopefully it's There's more something chill. Here. There's something here. Yeah, everybody's stopping, so I'm sure we're about to see something. in Tennessee and tomorrow morning we're gonna be hiking the Gregory Ball. Uh, pretty excited about this. Very excited. Uh, the Gregory Bald Swarm 
of hybrids is some of the most rare things happening uh, of anywhere in the world. And it's cool to get to go see these crazy azaleas in person. Well, you know, this is kind of our, our pinnacle moment here with the native azalea type adventures we've been doing. I'm really excited about that. We did the Hooper Ball. We did the Wine Springs Ball, Blighty Ball. So this is kind of the, the next big step. It's going to be awesome. Dude, I, I was kind of jealous about this. So definitely <laughs> watch those videos. I was on the family beach trip. I didn't get to check those out. I'm a little tired. I'm a little sunburnt. I've been driving seven hours back from the coast, but I'm going to be in this video <laughs> if it kills me, and it might, but it might. we're really excited about this. Yeah. This hike is listed as strenuous, and that elevation change is no joke. Yeah, so first off, like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and sign up for our weekly emails on mrmaple.com. If you like native azaleas, make sure you sign up for our weekly emails. Every Friday we add at least 10 new fun flowering items, and many of those are native azaleas. So you'll definitely be a part of that. But talking about that strenuous hike, this is, uh, this hike is no joke. This is an 8.8 .8 mile hike. Uh, it originally was an 11.3 mile hike, but they just recently opened up Parson, uh, they just recently opened up this road right here that makes, so we can come from a different angle and it takes off a thousand feet in elevation change. And we'll take that. Mile. Yeah. Uh, you know, and, like, and I'll it, take everything I can get. <laughs> and it takes off a mile and a half each direction. Mm. Yeah. So we're talking about it's going to take, instead of being a, it's, it's going to be 4.4 one way, yeah. instead of being a 5.9. I'm going to send you all as the scouts. We're going to have the bear detail right yeah. here. 5.9, 6. We, we've already seen a few black bear tonight. Yeah. We have. Uh, they are super in the area. Uh, there's been a few bear tags in this area recently. <laughs> there has been. Uh, there's been some scratches, I think you call it, but there's been some people that have had some confrontations with bears and park and rangers specifically in this area. And park rangers have had to euthanize two bears in the last week for attacking people. Yeah. The, we're in the Cades Cove area is where this hike starts out at. You have to drive through the Cades Cove area, and in the Cades Cove area, the bears are so used to people. They're way too tame. People Super are tame. feeding them, doing stupid stuff. Uh, you know, putting their kid on the bear for a selfie. Like, yeah. It's just, it's pandemonium down there. People are way too we, ridiculous around the black bear population and stay away from them, but. We saw a mother and three cubs yeah. and people were within 25 feet. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if that they're like closer. running towards active black bears in a field. A mother with three cubs. Yeah. Like, don't run toward a black bear. That's, that's especially that's not, a mama bear. It's like uh, people thought this was a kitty cat, and they were just running up for a selfie with a kitty cat. <laughs> and we're like, whoa, uh, some stuff's about to go down. We should probably look the other way. Yeah. <laughs> well, luckily, all did well this time. But needless to say, the bear in the area are super active right now. Uh, the mothers are out with the cubs right now. They're super active. And we're, we, we're from Western North Carolina. We've had lots of bear yeah. interactions growing yeah, up. Yeah. We're not scared of black bears, but the problem with the bears in this area is they're not scared of us. Yeah, yeah. And so we've got some bear spray that we'll be hiking right. with to, to make sure that we're, we're safe right. on this trip. But this is gonna be a fun trip. We're meeting up with some people from the Azalea Society in the morning. Uh, we're meeting out at 5 a.m. at the trail. And so this is going to be a little bit of an epic adventure. Oh, I'm pretty stoked about it. Hey, let's make sure everybody knows who we are before the video. I'm Matt. I'm Tim. I'm Brian. And I'm Wesley. You probably saw these guys in the other video. You know, my lazy butt just got back from the beach, so I'm tagging along this time. I'm going to be so tired, but I'm super excited about it. I can't wait to join these guys on one of their adventures here for this. I, I love this aspect of getting out in the native habitat, especially what we have here in the southeastern United States and covering some of these really cool native azaleas. Yeah, I think we're I think we're doing something really special, bringing this attention to the native plants in this area. I think people are gonna really appreciate that and just kinda something that we can cherish. I mean, it's so beautiful to see that up there in the mountains here in North Carolina. I just think it's a cool thing to capture and to kind of document and share with everybody who may not get an opportunity to see it. Hey, so. shout out to Tim for actually getting us a good place to stay. <laughs> He's had me in some dumps before, whether it be in Japan or like South Philly or Oregon. We've had some just abysmal places. He's normally like, hey, I found this one. It was only 45 instead of 75, so I saved us some bucks. We got to go a little more out of the way and it's sketch as heck. 
but you know, wow, we got a hot tub. We got yeah. we got some setup here. I'm I'm feeling this. Yeah. We've been getting all of our camera equipment ready for tomorrow's hike, making sure everything's charged, uh, finding out you know some cords we were short on some of our gear, but yeah. somehow we managed Never to have the cord have in another gear. bag, which is awesome. So the hike starts. We drive in at Cades Cove, and we have to be there at daybreak, or we're gonna get stuck and all the tourists coming to see the bears and the deer and everything. Yeah, so we're basically hitting Cove. this up at 5 a.m. to start this. Yeah, so we're we're leaving here 5 a.m., getting to Cades Cove. It's about a 30-minute drive from here. And then about a 30-minute drive in Cades Cove, we're going to come down Forge Creek Road to Parson Branch Road. And they just opened up Parsons Branch Road. That's, yeah. what, that's what made our hike a lot shorter. Um, because Pretty before, we would have had to come in Gregory Ridge Trail, which is the... <laughs> The harder hike. Right. I mean, right. this isn't an easy hike, but that's oh, a harder hike. Nearly 12 miles going that direction. Right. Yeah. So and a thousand more feet in elevation. That's... And now we're going to be coming down the Parson Branch Road all the way down to Gregory Bald Trail. And Parson Branch Road's a one way. So we went down and saw the one way yeah, road. Yeah, we yeah. said, well, let's not go down it today. So we'll go down to the trailhead tomorrow and and get ready for this hike and, and get ready to go. Yeah. I mean, it, it the Gregory. Uh, Bald Trail takes us all the way up to Gregory Bald, and that's where we've got hybrid uh, happening that's like in, unlike anything else in the world. Mm -hmm. We've got rhododendron uh, viscosum, rhododendron arborescence, rhododendron uh, cumberland dense, and then we've uh, also got the calendulaceum. Yeah. So we've got the calendulaceum, I think from everything we've read, are tetraploids. Yep. Yep. The other three are diploids. And so they are hybridizing with each other like crazy. And the other three are just creating these amazing clones that are unlike anything else you see anywhere else in the world. And uh, it's just this weird happening where you can see yellows, pinks. Yeah. Purple, like lavender colors. Yeah. And ones with eyes, ones, I mean, just looking through Don Hyatt's uh, page on this is what got me so excited for this. I think we started carrying Gregory Candy yeah. Stripe, yeah, which yeah. is a selection from the Gregory Ball. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're putting a lot of effort into this, guys, yeah. too. And so if you're watching this, definitely like, subscribe. But one thing we'll definitely ask is take time and share this video with some people, you know, native plants don't necessarily show up high in the algorithm. So we'll ask that you take a chance, share this video with your gardening friends. We're putting a lot of effort into this, especially to kind of get out there and talk about some things that aren't really covered very frequently. Right. So, I mean, I think it's some work that needs to be done. We're excited to do it. And we got the plant geeks here. We got, we got some and, uh, geeky plant crew for talking about and this plants. is And this is a plant expedition. I mean, yeah. we're going out there to see what we can find. Yeah. Some of these uh, hybrids going out there just getting a fresh set of eyes on mm -hmm. them and seeing what we see out there that's really unique, that's really different. We're going to bring that to you. And we're bringing the black bears for you. Yeah. <laughs> we've we've looked online and there's other people who shot videos that showed azaleas out there. Mm -hmm. And there's some great videos out there, but no one's looked at it from a plant perspective. Yeah, no one. At that's the, the concept at the we want to see. I think that's what this channel is going to evolve into is really getting to the content we want to see whether it's been made or not. We're going to go we're going to find the kind of stuff that we'd like to watch. I mean, I almost see this as like a nature show, but about the native azaleas of this region. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. it's something that's not done. I think more could be done on it. Uh, hopefully this will open more eyes and put more eyes on. So more people will be into this. So. I know I got them in the hook because yeah. I got them to the Hooper ball. Right. And then we went and uh, tracked down the double. Yeah, then right. we went on the Appalachian Trail. And then we did Wine Springs and Wyabald. And once we did that, y'all are like, okay, we pretty much hiked close to the 8.8 right. eight miles we're going to be hiking. We got we, to we get to Gregory. Yeah. Yeah. And if you like this kind of thing, I mean, hey, the more views, the more likes, the more comments, the more shares this gets, the more likely we are to do more of this kind of content. So we're actively discussing, you know, more native plants we can cover. You can put some of those in the comment section below. This is just the beginning of the discussion. Let us know if there's things you'd love to see us cover. That may be something we can make happen here on our show. And we've got to get our rest of our gear together for tomorrow. And we got to get to bed because we got to get up early. We got to be uh, headed out at 5 a.m. 
<laughs> that is a cold cup of coffee right there in the morning. <laughs> Woo. So we've got our water, our Camelbacks ready. Man. We've got the cameras ready. We got to make sure we get the rest of the gear uh, ready so we're ready to, to go in the morning. But we'll see you in the a.m. Yeah. <laughs> Playing fire up the fire pit. 